What's up everyone? This is Bill. Today I got a video for you guys. Uh, my friends over at Providence Spider and Motorcycle Accessories have sent me out their cup holder for the Can-Am Riker. We are going to mount this today on my Can-Am Riker 900. Uh, regular price on this guy is $59.50. It is on sale on their website for $48. Uh, so we're going to take it and unbox it and I'll talk about it a little bit. Uh, it is made out of a composite material. So here is the cup holder itself that you get. Okay, it's made out of a composite material, so it's flexible, it's heavy duty, it's not going to break, it's the same material that the rocker panels on the bike are. Okay, and they have, they use, so here is your mounting bracket. Okay, and this thing was designed to carry 17 to 20 fluid ounces of liquid. This is the mounting bracket, and we'll see when they install it on the bike, I'll show you guys around the bike where it's going to install at. But it's designed to distribute the water weight equally so it does not damage the anchor points on the bike. Okay, and this thing is made, so it's stainless steel material. In the package, you also get your hardware here. Okay, this thing was made so it uh, keeps the clutter off your handlebars. See, so you, you do have stuff like a ram mount and stuff like that where you can put it up on the handlebars. Uh, this is an alternative to that. So you don't have to have a water bottle hanging off your handlebars. This thing's going to be very incognito, very stealth-like. You do have some simple instructions. Okay, water bottle is not included with this. Very easy to install instructions. Okay, and then your hardware, you should have two screws, two nuts, two washers. Okay, and also in the box, they're going to tell you a little bit about the water bottles that they recommend. Um, you can get them at Walmart. So they do show option number one, option number two. I have this one here. Okay, this is a option number two there. So this is a stainless steel bottle. It's insulated. It is will carry about 20 ounces of fluid. Okay, so I do have that. Okay, so that is everything that you're going to get in the box. Okay, so you got your cup holder, your stainless steel bracket, and your hardware, your instructions there. Okay, like I said, there will be a link in the description below this video to go purchase this directly. Uh, get it while it's hot. The item is on sale for $48 right now on their website. Uh, so go check these guys out. It's Providence Spider and Motorcycle Accessories. Uh, they got parts for all different kinds of vehicles, and they are working on carrying more parts for more vehicles. Okay, so we'll get out to the shop and uh, get this guy installed. And then after I ride the bike for 100 miles or so, we'll give it a review and let you guys know how it's held up. Okay, so let's go get it on the bike. Okay, so assembling it, the first thing we're going to do, get your cup holder assembled. Uh, you look at the instructions, obviously. And you want your bracket to sit with these. This is going to be down at the bottom, this angled. So you can see how it sits here. Okay, so you're going to have the bottom. These are going to be in towards the bike. It's going to mount on the bike like this on the right-hand side. Okay, so it's going to sit like this. And it says to take the washers, put them on the screw. You're going to use these bottom two holes like so. Like so. Okay, they're going to go through here. Okay, and then you're going to put these nuts on that do have the little Delrin or Teflon piece in there. So they are going to lock on there pretty darn tight. Okay, and these are 11 30 seconds and a Phillips head screw. 11 30 seconds or I believe 9 millimeter will also work. Okay, so you're going to stick your ratchet on there. Okay, we're going to put it, so it's, we're not going to put it too tight just yet. Uh, we'll tighten everything up, but I kind of want to see where exactly it sits on the bike because it does slide up and down a little bit. So you do have some options as to where the positioning is just a little bit. It'll move up and down mm, almost half an inch. OK, 
Okay, so you see what I'm saying. Okay, so you're gonna have to decide, do you want it down lower or do you want it up in the highest position? Okay, so we're gonna leave it loose like that. We're gonna get it on, we're gonna fit it on there and see what's gonna work better, having it up or down, if there's a difference. And then we'll uh, take it back off and we'll tighten it down. Okay, 11, 30 seconds, Phillips head screw. I believe you will need a T30 Torx bit for the two screws that we're gonna use on the bike. Okay guys, so we're out here at the Riker. I got my beautiful assistant here, my wife, uh, filming for me. So what you're gonna locate is these two screws here. These are both T30 Torx bit, okay? And you're gonna get those screws out of there. And you could use like a piece of masking tape if you think you're going to scratch any of this up. Uh, we're going to go with not using the masking tape. Okay, this is where the bracket is going to mount to. Okay, remember these screws here are just for this protective cover. Okay, so they uh don't need to be really torqued down. You're threading plastic into plastic. Okay, so we'll take this bit off of here. And that, take that extension off. And we're gonna come down lower here. You can get right in here so we can see this. So this is what works best to get in here to this little area is uh, using a socket and that little bit. We have a little driver there. He's not gonna work. Okay, again, these are not really super torqued down or anything. Okay, so then this is how the cup holder is going to sit in here. Okay, these holes line up perfect. That's why I said you have to make sure you put this on the right way. That angle should be going downward. Okay, so that stainless steel bracket, now your cup holder sits upright. Okay, so you're going to need to get back behind here on these, like this. Okay. top one in first what we're doing is we're gonna get them both in there loosely so you can see I'm using a little little screwdriver here okay we'll get that one in there and then on this lower guy Okay, so this lower screw, you can get that lower one in there, and you can see I'm just using the socket here. Kind of a very tight squeeze, but. Okay, so this lower screw, you're gonna use the socket. Now we're gonna tighten this lower one down. The lower one is, it's not really difficult to get to, but it is the one that is gonna, be the more challenging one out of the two anyway. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna hand tighten those. Now we'll use the little, uh, the little extension here. To get this guy down. Again, these screws don't over tighten them. Okay, that's just plastic going into plastic. And there we go. 
There's our cup holder. You see it leans leans forward just a hair. Okay, so it, it leans forward just a hair like that out just a little bit so it clears this up here. So you're not gonna be banging this up. Okay. So that is the install. So let's go grab a uh, bottle. Okay, so you got three different water bottles here. Uh, all three, you can go get them at Walmart. This one is 20 ounce. It's another 20 ounce one. And then this is a 17 ounce one. Okay, all of them fit just fine. They don't move around. Okay, so that's how those ones fit. Uh, I'll show you what a water bottle looks like on there. Okay, so you got a water bottle. Okay, again, the water bottle's not going to fall out of there when you're riding, most likely. It does fit loosely, but it will work. And, of course, a bigger water bottle would be even better. This is a 16-ounce. This is very, very convenient. Okay, it's very easy. I'll show you. on the bike you see there it doesn't hit my shin my pegs are about the middle and it's comfortable it's not not gonna bug me to have that there even without it in there okay, so there you go check those guys out Providence spider and motorcycle accessories I'll be a link in the description below this video to go purchase this and like I said before, right now it's on sale for $48. Um, don't go buy something that's going to mount up here on your handlebars. Create calling all kinds of clutter. Uh, go check these guys out. They have several items for the Riker and more items up and coming. Okay, so thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Peace.